Uh, good afternoon and, and welcome everybody to the first day of this short virtual event series on modelling behaviour to inform policy for pandemics. My name is Jane Meeks and I manage the Newton Gateway to Mathematics, which, as I'm sure most of you already know, is the impact initiative of the Isaac Newton Institute for Mathematical Sciences. Now I'm going to be quick because I've got one minute, so before I hand you over to our colleagues, um, in fact our academic organisers and advisors for this, um, Edward Hill and Flavio Toxfard, um, I just want to say a few, a few quick things. So as you can see on the slide here, we are working as part of the Ramp Continuity Network, delivering activities such as this uh, event, and indeed this event is guided by links with the Juniper Joint University's Pandemic and Epidemiological Research Program. Um, and we've also worked very closely with Dr. Kira Dangerfield on this, uh, who's been giving her some of her experience. I'm just looking at she's at Medwoods. <laughs> Sorry? Um, okay, I think someone was, was speaking then. Um, so yes, we're very grateful to our academic organisers, um, particularly Edward Hill and Flavio Toxford. And I just want to say a quick mention that if you look um, in the chat, you'll see a link to the next event, which is also linked to Juniper as part of the Ramp Continuity Network on optimal vaccination strategies running on the 14th of December. My colleague will put the event in the link uh, sorry, in the chat on here, and you can find more details on our website. So if we flip, quickly flip to the next slide. Um, so just a little bit of Zoom housekeeping. We are in Zoom meetings. Um, uh, there will be a few minutes for questions at the end of each talk. Our speakers have been asked to allow for this. So if you've got a question, please post your questions in chat or raise your hand. Um, and, and as it said here, that we've got discussion sessions at the end of each afternoon. So today, Thursday and Friday. If we can ask you please to stay muted throughout, but raise your hand if you wish to speak. And the session is being recorded, but only speakers and organisers are seen. Uh, the Q&A sessions will be recorded, but won't be posted online. And lastly, any Zoom issues that you might have, please either post in chat or email my other colleague, Dawn Hancock. And without further ado, um, I think the intention is that I hand over to Flavio next. Now you can hear me, right? Okay. Hello, my name is Flavio Toxper. I'm an economist at the Faculty of Economics here in Cambridge. I worked for a number of years, about 10, 15 years, on the economic analysis of infectious diseases with a particular emphasis on behavior and policy. And isn't this a time to study behavior and policy? As we all agree, uh, these are issues that have taken center stage. Uh, now, uh, as, as a number of other people working outside of traditional epidemiology, um, many economists have have recently taken an interest in the field and also many behavioral scientists, uh, we have felt somewhat of a, of a lack of a venue for discussing issues of, uh, of, uh, of mutual interest with, with traditional modeling community. And so um, this is exactly the kind of format that I was hope, hoping somebody would come up with. Um, and when the Newton Institute uh, contacted me uh, to see whether we could uh, kind of join forces, I was very keen to do so uh, and jumped at the opportunity. And boy, do we have a good program uh, for, for, for all of us. We have a program uh, encompassing both understanding behavior, but also how to do the nitty gritty of actually modeling behavior, not as an afterthought, but as part of the actual modeling process. And last, we're going to uh, finish it all off with a session of how we can bring those insights to bear on the actual formulation of policy. Now, I'd like to just uh, end up by saying that I'm, I'm really, uh, you know, genuinely hoping that this won't just be a set piece where everybody claps each other in the back and then we go home and we do as, uh, as we're used to. I'm really hoping that this is start of a conversation uh, and that this will help towards fostering ongoing research collaboration uh, and interaction between the different, um, I wouldn't say schools of thought, but uh, the different methodological approaches to, to this topic that we're also interested in, in better understanding. So um, let me hand over to Ed Hill, who uh, is my co-organizer from the University of Warwick, please. Thank you, Flavio. Uh, yep, yeah, hi, I'm Ed. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at University of Warwick. And so I work in mathematical epidemiology and modeling of infectious diseases. And yeah, just to basically echo what Flavio just said in terms of hopefully bringing together our schools of thought and hopefully we'll have ongoing fruitful discussions during and after this series of events. And so today's workshop um, 
has the title of understanding understanding behaviors and so a couple of main features we're focusing on today are to give an overview um, of kind of the behavioral frameworks which uh, are in existence that can be used to describe our behavior to public health events and then also looking at some analyses of uh, data sets both pre-pandemic and that have from studies undertaken during the current COVID-19 pandemic that have elements, aspects that kind of capture our behavioral characteristics and can also perhaps highlight some of the challenges in taking these data sets and data flows and then perhaps trying to turn them into kind of meaningful framings for modeling. So yeah, thank you to all our speakers and for to everyone for attending today. And with that, I'll pass over to our session chair for this afternoon, uh, Maha. So thank you. Hello, um, so I am Maha and I'm working um, with Jane at the Meeting Gateway. Um, and so I'm going to be just um, chairing this session up until the discussion session at 4 p.m. Um, I just want to let everyone know that during the talks, um, we're just going to let the speakers um, talk, do their talk and then we'll have Q&A um, afterwards. So there will be time for that. Um, I'll try and let you know which speakers are staying for the end discussion as well, so that you can um, know when to, when to kind of direct your questions if you want to ask them um, after the talk directly or to leave some until the end. Um, so our first speaker is Brooke Rogers from, um, the, from King's College London. And she'll be talking about translating behavioral science principles and evidence into modeling for extreme events. So uh, Brooke, if you'd like to please um, go ahead. Thank you so much. And I will share my screen. In theory, you'd think I'd be very used to this by now. There we go. Are you able to see? 